A popular cosmology theory is the multiverse, which follows from the inflationary Big Bang theory. In the multiverse, it is likely that few universes have the exact physical constants that permit the existence of water and other prebiotic molecules necessary for planetary life as we know it. In contrast to the multiverse, the parallel universes, or many worlds theory, derived from quantum mechanics, predicts an infinite number of nearly identical worlds. Here parallel lives occur simultaneously, but we have no practical way of entering or communicating with those worlds. In the present theory, we have proposed that supernovae produce ice-coated cosmic dust that ejects water nanoclusters, filling space as a quintessent scalar field of dark matter. Like the fifth element of Plato and Aristotle. This is the terahertz radiative mode of an ejected pentagonal dodecahedral water nanocluster, equal in frequency to the 1.7 terahertz value in the formula, that agrees with the presently observed dark energy density. The indicated anisotropic dipole moments along the nanocluster axis are precursors to water nanocluster birefringents, analogous to the terahertz-induced birefringents of liquid water. Observational evidence for biofingence of the cosmic microwave background has recently been reported. As our universe continues to expand, water nanoclusters ejected from cosmic dust will grow larger, and their vibrational frequencies will decrease. Large water clusters are less interacting with the prebiotic molecules of life. With decreasing vibration frequency, dark energy density also decreases. The universe will stop expanding and contract as the gravity of the remaining matter takes over. The universe will expand again, leading to a single cyclic universe instead of an inflationary multiverse. According to this scenario, we are presently living at the ideal time in our universe for life, as we know it, to exist. And water nanoclusters, ejected from cosmic dust, could be the seeds of life throughout the universe.